Hi, I'm Gary Leland. And I'm Tony Sakala. And we are the, the Crypto, crypto cousins. cousins. Welcome to another episode of our videos about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And today's question is, who controls Bitcoin? That's a great question because, you know, one of the things we think about in the world is that centralized banking is the way things are. There's a guy who's got your money. There's a guy who controls your money. There's a guy who controls your uh, banking account, your checking account, your savings account. So what about your Bitcoin account? Who controls Bitcoin? That's an interesting question because really nobody controls Bitcoin. Bitcoin is decentralized and the mathematics of Bitcoin basically say that everyone involved has a say. Everyone has some element of uh, interacting with Bitcoin. Uh, the people who mine Bitcoin do a proof and can check whether your transaction is valid or not. The people who write the software that you use to, for your wallet, they have some say in the matter. And the merchants that sell, buy and sell products with Bitcoin, they have a say in what's going on. And the actual end user, whether you use a particular wallet or you use a particular system, then you're putting in your vote. But it's a very decentralized system and no particular group has any virtual control over Bitcoin. So everybody involved in Bitcoin controls Bitcoin. The, yeah. the herd. The herd, yeah. You know, I would exactly. say. Like, yeah. There's a consensus that happens. And that's really, again, that's the way the network works. So to determine whether you actually sold a particular Bitcoin or gave a particular Bitcoin to someone else is the network checks on that transaction. Gotcha. Okay, well, thank you and welcome to another, or thanks for watching another episode of The Crypto, the Crypto Cousins. Cousins.